So 5.4 million Twitter users stolen data leaked online. Let's check it out. What's up, guys? It's Josh back with another video. And today I got another cyber article that I wanted to cover. And this was on a whole bunch of blog sites out there. It basically states, you know, a whole bunch of Twitter user data has been leaked online. And I believe this ties to something I covered a couple months ago, uh, like earlier in the year. I believe it was some dealing with Twitter uh, getting some information taken from my API. And so now the person that actually stole the data is putting it out there for free, you know, on those hacking forum boards and everything. And so let's go on and hop over to the article so I can show you guys what it's all about. Before we move forward, I wanted to ask the Keep It Techie fam to consider joining my channel membership. By joining the membership, you can support the channel, get access to member only videos, tech mentorship, early technical course access, and exclusive Linux content. Thanks, and back to the video. All right, cool. So we had this article, it's on bleepingcomputer.com. Uh, and of course, I always had a link down in the description of the video. But like I stated in the intro, 5.4 million Twitter user stolen data leaked online. More shared privately. Uh, so let's check this out and see what it's all about. But it says, uh, over you know the same thing same information but it says containing non-public information stolen using the api vulnerability fixed in january have been shared for free on a hacker forum so it's non-public information that they share for free on a hacker forum but there is some more information out there that 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 could possibly be dumped but i believe the person is trying to sell it but it says another massive potential more significant data dump of millions of twitter records has also been disclosed by a security researcher demonstrating how widely abused this bug was by threat actors. It says the data consists of scrapped public information as well as a private phone number and email address uh, that are not meant to be public. So that information is in there as well. So just so you guys know, private phone numbers. So if you had a phone number tied to your Twitter account, or email addresses like personal email addresses that you don't want that could, that are linked to you you know what i'm saying essentially linked to you to distinguish the twitter account then that information you know was leaked as well now this is that breach i was talking about before this was back in july it says a threat actor began selling the private information of over 5.4 million twitter users on a hacking forum for thirty thousand dollars so he was trying to sell it <laughs> you know for a big amount of money you know what i'm saying he says uh while most of the data consists of public information such as twitter ids names login names locations and verified status it also included private information such as phone numbers and yeah and there we go phone numbers and email addresses and uh i believe this is an image it says forum post you know selling a scraped twitter data so that's the actual post right there with a sample and all that stuff so it's crazy it says the data was collected in december 2021 using a twitter api vulnerability disclosed in the hacker one bug bounty program and i believe i talked about that as well that um vulnerability i believe you can send your information to the person and they can verify that it's in there or whatever oh here we go it says in here it says that allow people to submit their phone numbers and email addresses into the api to retrieve the associated twitter id um now it says using this id the threat actor could then scrape public information about the account to create a user record containing both private and public information as shown below uh it says a redacted example of one of the leaked twitter user records so yeah you can see it this this the information right there it looks like it's in a json format and all the information pretty much about the account you know email addresses what's this uh the profile image so that's a link to the actual image most likely um yeah name screen name so your full name is in there your location uh, so that's it's in California, but you know, they redacted it. That's why you can't see the exact location. But yeah, 
That's a lot of personal information you don't really want out there. You know what I'm saying? It says it's unclear if the Hacker One disclosure was leaked, but Bleeping Computer was told that multiple threat actors were utilizing the bug to steal private information from Twitter. And it says after Bleeping Computer shared a sample of the user records with Twitter, the social media company confirmed they had suffered a data breach using the API bug fixed in January 2022. And I wonder if they fixed that because I almost did a video on uh, a tool, a uh, cybersecurity tool that uh, can leverage the Twitter API to gather information about, you know, a specific user or anything. You know what I'm saying? You could put the information in there. It'll reference the API, spit out a CSV file, you know, with information about a specific specific account or a specific hash hashtag or something to that i think it was called twit twat twatter or something i don't know what it's called but yeah i almost did a video on my channel but when you do videos about those types of tools that could be used for you know malicious purposes and i don't want to promote anything malicious so try not to do that but yeah the api is you know available to you um you just have to request it or whatever but that's what they were leveraging with this bug uh it was the api now it says pump pumperin the owner of breach hacker hacking forum told bleeping computer that this weekend that they were responsible for exploiting the bug and creating a massive dump of twitter user records after another threat actor known as devil shared the vulnerability with them and this is that same person right here so devil um now it also says in addition to the 5.4 million records for sale there were also an additional 1.4 million twitter profiles for suspended users collected using a different api bringing a total to almost 7 million twitter uh profiles containing private information so wow they actually got suspended account information which you would think, you know, over time, Twitter would just purge that information. You know, if the account's been taken or, you know, removed after, at least after a certain amount of time, you know, they would delete that. But we all know these tech companies, they're <laughs> trying to get as much information as they can about their users uh, so they can sell ads and all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? That they're probably going to keep that information indefinite if they could, you know, but now we know that that actually brings out a kind of a revolution or a revelation or not really a revelation because I knew this. But, you know, a lot of people don't know this. These people, these companies, you know, keep your information in the system even after you tell them to remove it. And supposedly these accounts are suspended. So uh, Twitter actually suspended it. But still, they should you know remove that information at least after a certain amount of time you know unless you plan on allowing the user back onto the platform if you're not allowing the user back on the platform there's no need for you to keep that information but anyway i didn't went down a whole nother rabbit hole <laughs> but it says uh pumperin uh said that this second data dump was was not sold and was only shared privately among amongst a few people now uh let's just read a little bit more it says uh twitter data shared on hacker form so this kind of covers what they did it says in september and now more recently on uh, november 24th the 5.4 million twitter records have now been shared for free on the hacker form and that's a screenshot of it you know that's where it is whatever i don't recommend you going there and messing with it but i'm just saying it's out there for free um uh, Pumper has confer confirmed uh, to Bleeping Computer that this is the same data that was for sale in August, including 5 million Twitter user accounts. Yeah, and I, I think I remember either reading this or doing a video on it, uh, talking about this, that they had it for sale, <laughs> which I didn't think anybody was going to pay $30,000 for that. So, or and that's what it looks like. Nobody actually paid $30,000 for it, so... They just went on and put it out for free because they were just sitting on it, you know, or whatever. But it says these records contain either private email addresses and phone numbers and public scrape data, including the accounts, uh, Twitter ID, name, screen name, uh, verified status, location, URL. Yeah, and that, all that same information I showed you guys up at the, at the top. It says an even larger data dump privately created. So 
While it's concerning that the threat actors release uh, the 5.4 million records for free, an even larger data dump was allegedly created using the same vulnerability. So that's crazy. It's not the only one. <laughs> it says this data dump is potentially contains 10 of millions of Twitter records consisting of personal phone numbers, uh, personal, yeah, personal phone numbers collected using the same API bug, the public, public information, including verified, you know, status accounts, uh, names, Twitter IDs, and bio and screen name. Uh, it says the news of this more significant data breach from security expert Chad Loader, who first broke the news on Twitter and was suspended soon after posting. Uh, Loader uh, subsequently posted a redacted sample of this larger data breach on Mastodon. So he put it up there on Mastodon. Now he says, I have just received evidence of a massive Twitter uh, data breach affecting millions of Twitter accounts in the EU and US. I have contacted a sample of affected accounts and they confirmed that the breach data is accurate. This breach occurred no earlier than 2021, uh, Loader shared on Twitter. And so that's a screenshot, you know, of all the information, I guess. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Chad Loader sharing news of the larger breach uh, in Mastodon. Now it says bleeping computer has obtained a sample file of the previously unknown Twitter data deep dump, uh, which contains 1 million phone numbers for users in France. We have since confirmed with numerous users in the leak that the phone numbers are valid verified verifying this additional data breach is real. Uh, now it says furthermore, none of these phone numbers are present in the original data sold in August, illustrating how much large, larger Twitter data breaches breach was then previously disclosed and large amounts of user data circulating amongst uh, threat actors. Now, uh, let me let me talk about these phone numbers for a second. Now, with phone numbers, um, this is why I recommend, and I haven't said it in a while, but I always recommend people just get a Google uh, voice number uh, and whenever you create these accounts, just use that number for it. Um, it works just like a regular phone number. You know, it's tied to, yeah, it's tied to your Google account, but still, it's a actual number. People could call you on it. People could text you on it. So if they send you the, you know, activation code, just use that number for different accounts like this, like all your social media accounts or whatever. Use a number like that. Um, and then I know some people use like, uh, I forget the name of it. Uh, whatever that that site is that you can create a, a account to make like phone numbers I can't remember what the name of it is but and actually let me look it up right fast whatsapp some people use what well I don't know if that has a phone number associated with it I can't remember but yeah I know some people use that for something uh, some some reason I don't know is it beneficial I don't use it I, I never liked it because I don't know it just seems like it's too many you know apps out there that want to get your information and i'm not willing to give it to them so i stay away from a lot of these different apps you know what i'm saying i think i had a whatsapp number a while back or account a while back but i deleted it all um so i don't use it anymore but anyway it says uh pumperm and i'm messing this dude name up i'm butchering it so <laughs> uh please don't you know go at me but i'm i can't pronounce that man pump pump pouring <laughs> also confirmed with bleeper computer that they were not responsible and did not know who created this this newly discovered data dump indicating the other people were using the api vulnerability and it says bleeping computer has learned uh that this newly discovered data dump consists of numerous files broken up by country and area code including Europe, Israel, and USA. And it says, we were told that it consists of 17 million records, but could not independently confirm this. Now, here's the important part of this. Uh, it says, as the data can be potentially used for, to, for targeted phishing attacks to gain access to login credentials, it is essential to scrutinize any email that claims to come from Twitter. So yeah. That's the learning or the lesson you should take from this. You know, just make sure you look at any email and verify that it's actually coming from Twitter before you start clicking on links and 
putting in information and all that stuff on a site uh thinking you're at twitter and you may not be at twitter it may be a clone of twitter um trying to get you to put your information in to log into it uh, and so they can steal your information, your account information. Now it says, if you receive an email complaining your account was suspended, there are log, log in issues, or you are about to lose your verification status, uh, and it prompts you to log on to a non-Twitter domain, ignore the email, and delete them, as they are likely phishing attempts. Bleeping Computer reached out to Twitter on Thursday about this additional data dump of private information, but yet but has yet to receive a response. So yeah, definitely, uh, this is important. Um, and I, I really wanted to share with you guys because uh, I know that there's always something going on uh, where, you know, these companies are, are getting their data leaked or stolen, you know, and it's important to stay on top of this stuff, especially if you're looking to get into the cybersecurity field, you know, uh, when looking at stuff like this, this, you know, helps you understand the importance of securing these companies that you work for. So hope you guys have a wonderful day. Go on and like, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, leave comments down in the comments below. And of course, keep it techie.